Hey guys, welcome to InventBox, and today we're talking about those parts you design that just do not fit well on a drawing. Like this. Here is a shaft that has a groove cut in one side, but when you put it on a drawing, it takes up the whole width, and you still can barely see what's going on with that groove. So you can use a detail view to enlarge just the end of it and really see what's going on with the groove and also have enough room to put the dimensions in. And uh, it uses the, I'd say it fills the space more efficiently. Well, the uh, detail view feature in FreeCAD works but there's some tricks or a bit of a rocky road in order to use it. So I'm going to walk you through that. Uh, let's get started. The uh, first step is to choose our base view. And I will look at the right side. And let's create a new drawing and drop in a base view. Let's drag that guy down so that we have some room up top. That's going to be where our detail view will go. First of all, you can see that uh, while it's not so much a problem to dimension the length of this rod, getting the diameter is a little tricky. Uh, now, I could scale down the view, but the groove would be almost impossible to dimension. And besides, it'll be easier to get the diameter once we enlarge it in the detail view. So let's go ahead and create the detail view. Uh, just select the base view and click the blue box with a circle around one corner and you'll get a detail view dropped right down in there. And its initial position that it's zooming in on is like zero, uh, the center of the part. And it's actually not zooming in at all but we'll deal with that in a moment. The first problem is it's not looking at the right place. So click on the detail view and uh, you're not gonna like what you're gonna have to do. We actually cannot drag this circle, uh, the anchor point. We have to set its location by typing it in, specifying the coordinates in millimeters. And um, now you'll understand why I drew the part in millimeters. Well, some of you always draw your parts in millimeters, um, but I usually use inches, but I switched to millimeters to draw this part so that I can know that if I move the uh, detail view over to the left, 125 millimeters, it'll put that center point right at the end of the rod and we can see uh, the groove and the end of the rod. And I truly want the groove centered since that's the uh, feature that I'm really after. So I'll come back about three millimeters so that the groove is centered inside that detail view. Let's increase the scale uh, to about five. And boy, that's pretty large. Um, it's not really that the view is large, it's this circle that's around it. Um, the circle's not really that full of drawing, so we can shrink it down. Uh, it has a radius of 10, um, which is 10 millimeters. And remember that this rod is six millimeters. So a radius of 10 would be a diameter of 20. Um, I'm gonna make it half that at a uh, diameter of five or a diameter of 10. So it's just a little bit bigger. The rest of the work is easy. We just go around and put all of our important dimensions in. The 
overall shaft diameter should be six millimeters and I can either dimension the step which should be half a millimeter or I can see what the diameter is after removing the step that should be five just make sure that your dimensions are clear of this ring because that will be printed so you may want to move them all outside the ring uh, it would could be confusing if an arrow lies directly on it and uh, there's one final thing we need to do before we can call it done and if you watched my section view you'll remember that whenever we turn off the frames we go to print it our little caption disappears you have no way of knowing that this is detail one what if you had three or five detail views on this drawing so we can change this by setting the caption manually to detail one and it looks goofy seeing the words on there twice but when you go to print it it'll all make sense all right well thank you for watching please uh, like and subscribe for future content and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.